there's no doubt at all in the West that uh, beneath the surface there's some kind of um, uh, dislike, maybe even hatred that people have for themselves uh, below the surface. And uh, we continuously, you know, are being held up to a very high standard of what you're supposed to look like, what you're supposed to have, what you're supposed to be able to acquire. And most people, I think, feel they're falling short uh, and don't really want you to know that either. So it's, there's a cover-up on that. So the idea of before you go out and try to change the world, before you um, try to save anybody else, before you try to um, master something, the idea of creating a kind of soft, friendly, open-hearted attitude towards one's own journey, towards one's own situation, uh, even though it sounds obvious, you know, make friends with yourself, sometimes you go, duh, you know, it's the last thing that people do. And uh, it's, 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 it's ironic in a way. So by making that the ground of the practice, you know, starting there, you're actually going to a very refined uh, place of, of saying, uh, you're asking the person how comfortable are you to be you? How much ease do you have? How much uh, are you able to let go? Um, how much are you able to be yourself without needing to um, cover anything up? Uh, how much are you willing to show your um, hesitancy, your fear, without trying to look good? And then the material, I mean, maybe a good analogy is the material like clay. You soften it up first with the water before you make something with it, you know. So you want to soften up on yourself, especially if you're going for hard practice. Because this is another myth that people think practice is going to be easy or blissful. Uh, talk to anybody who's done intensive meditation practice, and that myth is very easy to bust. Just see, put somebody in retreat for a while, and the ease and the bliss are going to like wear thin very quickly. Then do they have the heart, the fortitude to go through the more challenging aspect of really working with their state of mind, their habits, um, and, and really digging in. And so the idea of Maitri or loving kindness or metta and actually giving yourself a chance to work with that kind of stuff uh, will, will help you and then it will really help formulate how you work with other people. If you have that, then you take the same attitude and approach towards others, and it makes it much, much more workable. Doesn't mean you can't be tough and precise. Um, 